What's going on guys and welcome back to another Five Nights at Freddy's unboxing video. Now in today's video we're going to be doing the Series 2 buildable figures from uh, McFarland Toys actually this time around. I'm still saying Funko but nope. We got our boys McFarland back at it again and uh, they, created, they have created some pretty cool looking figures right here. Which we're going to go through and unbox obviously for you guys in this video. Now of course if you guys want to see more videos like this don't forget to drop a like on the video down below. And be sure to subscribe too because there's going to be a lot more content like this coming up in the near future. But let's go ahead and go over which ones we have here in front of us. So there's six of these in total and if you collect all six you actually get to build the brother. Now if you guys remember my previous unboxing I was not able to get like the last figure and I wasn't able to fully build Golden Freddy. Unfortunately they just ran out and all the stores near me but luckily when I actually got these at my local Best Buy I just randomly went in there to pick up like a headset and they had just put them out on the shelves and I was like alright well then I guess I'll be buying these now the weird thing is I managed to get all six of the ones I needed but the rest of them in the box and this was a brand new box it was missing like some of the ones that you would need to complete your set so for some reason in each box they didn't give you enough to complete the set like they only give enough to where like one person can have all six but everyone else is going to be like missing one or two which I found to be kind of weird but whatever um in this set though we have six in total like I said four in the build one the brother and the six are well the first one is the bite which is obviously Fredbear biting down on a child now it's interesting it does not say a year there it just says the bite which is uh just adds to the controversy of that whole thing but if you take a look at the back here, we actually have who comes in each of the sets. So in this set, we have Fredbear um, right there. It's like the plushy version of him. We have Fredbear biting a child. We have the crying child. We have Bonnie, Freddy, and Chica. And then we have the brother right there. And that is really it. And uh, yeah, so there's Fredbear. Pretty cool. After that, we have Freddy plush, which uh, this one... I'm not going to say it's uh, my least favorite, but I, I'm just not a big fan of it, how it looks. Just my personal opinion, I mean, I just I don't really like how he looks. But then again, I mean, it's a pixelated version of a plushy version of Freddy, so like, what did I really expect, but still. Um, anyways, the next one, which is probably my personal favorite besides the bite, this is Fredbear himself, but in a plush version, of course. And it just looks just like he does in the game, which is why it's my favorite. I think this, this is a really incredible looking, um, you know, buildable figure, and I definitely like it a lot. Anyways, though, after that, we have Chica Plush, and uh, she looks alright. I mean, she kind of looks like a duck in this, but still a pretty nice looking figure. Anyways, though, after that, we have Bonnie Plush, and this is probably my one of my favorites. It's up there. It looks really cool. Like, he just, like, looks so, like, out of here, if that makes any sense. Like, he looks just so pixelated that it looks awesome. Um, but, yeah, there he is right there. And then after that, we have The Crying Child, which is definitely one of my favorites once again. And uh, it just looks incredible. It's a very nice looking figure. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. Anyway, so let's go ahead and start opening these up. And then obviously at the end of the video, I'll build them for you guys. And uh, I'll skip it so you guys don't have to watch all that. But let's go ahead and open these things up and see what you guys can actually get inside of each pack. So in the Crying Child pack, let's go ahead and move these off to the side too so they're not in the way. But in the Crying Child pack, oh, please tell me, oh, no, they didn't do it. Uh, like, if you guys remember, I actually have them up in my room, which I, when I eventually do a room tour, you guys will see them. But they, McFarlane Toy, I think it was McFarlane, I don't remember it being Funko. They actually gave you, like, an instruction booklet, and on the instruction booklet, they had the pictures from the Finance of Freddy's games. Like, if you guys know what I'm talking about, like, that are up in the establishment, they had those, and I thought it was the coolest thing. I, like, I tore them out, and I hung them up in my room, because they look just like they do in the game, so that's what was cool about them. But unfortunately, in this one, we just have some simple instructions. Now, here is the set that we are going to be unboxing currently. It is set two. And there they are. And then down here is some of the stuff that we've already actually unboxed on the channel. If I remember correctly, I don't think I did fun with Balloon Boy, but I do have that one. Um, I don't know if you guys want to see an unboxing that, maybe at another time. But still, there is the bed and the closet and fun with Balloon Boy. Pretty cool. And on the back, we actually have the instructions on how to build each of the animatronics. And if we open it up, we have more instructions. And then, of course, the brother, which you can build if... You actually get all of the other figures, which is pretty cool. Anyways, though, here's the brother pieces. Um, like I said, not much to really show there. I'm, uh, I'm going to obviously be opening this up and showing you guys at the end of the video what he looks like, but there's that. Now, for the next figure, we have Bonnie. Let's go ahead and tear into him and see what his instructions and his pieces look like here. So when you open it up, obviously you're going to get the same exact instructions. Nothing new there at all. Um, yeah, there's really no need to change these in the first place, but still pretty cool. Um, and then the Bonnie pieces right there. And these actually look like they're going to be pretty easy to build. Um, one of the problems I had with the other McFarlane toys was, uh, or the McFarlane sets, I guess I guess I should say, is they were very difficult to build. I mean, not really the 
not really these like you know these little things like I had before but like the big sets those took a long time and usually their instructions are not correct like that they have like outdated pieces on the instructions which I'm not sure what they're thinking doing that but they tend to do that a lot which really does suck but anyways though here is another set obviously Chica now let's go ahead and get into the next one which is Fredbear and take okay oh okay <laughs> that should never happen before I managed to rip straight down the middle and I ripped both the packages. Alright, well, I guess I'll be opening up Fredbear first and uh, unboxing him first. So there's Fredbear. Anyways though, after that we have Freddy. Let's tear into him and take a look at what his stuff looks like. So once again the instructions, nothing to see there. And the Freddy pieces, once again not a lot. These should be pretty simple to build, which I am very happy about. And here is the bite. I feel like this one is probably going to be the hardest, um, but I guess we'll find out here. So do we, do we get anything special here? No, it's just, I was kind of hoping, you know, it's the bite. It's a big thing, all right? I was hoping maybe we might get something extra. But no, um, once again, just the Fredbear pieces and uh, his little, like, stage and stuff like that. And, of course, the crying child that he's biting into. But, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and build these. Um, in total, I have six of them to build, or actually seven, because I'm going to have to build the brother, too. So it's going to take me a little while, but I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so I've now finished up the building process and well here they are right here in front of me but once again I ran into the same problem I did with the other sets that I built where they were missing pieces and some of the instructions were kind of off I don't know what's up with that I don't know how that always gets through like the production line or whatever but it does um, maybe I'm just like misplacing the pieces or something but from my understanding I'm always I always seem to be missing like a few pieces from random sets which does really suck for instance with Fredbear right here if you guys take a look at the picture that's that piece right there is supposed to connect to a lower piece right there and I I don't have that lower piece. I don't know if I might have placed it somewhere. I looked around, like I looked at some of the other pieces to see if maybe I placed it on, on like another part of him, but no, it's just gone. <laughs> it didn't come with the piece at all. I don't know where it is. I don't know how they forgot that, but apparently they did. But yeah, so there's Fredbear though, once again with the crying child inside of his mouth. This figure is probably my favorite. I will say on camera, they look a lot better than they do in, in person. I was gonna say, they don't really look like how they do in the picture, but on camera, it actually shows them a lot better. So I guess it's like one of the things you gotta like see it from afar or something but there's Fredbear biting on the child and it really is an incredible looking you know figure and I absolutely love how this thing looks anyways though after that we have Chica and once again it's the plush version of her and it does look really really cool after that though we have Freddy or the plush version once again and uh, yeah still not my favorite <laughs> Uh, but he, he's all right. I'm not gonna, you know, say anything hateful. Uh, anyways, though, after that we have Bonnie plush version, and once again he's got like that crazy look to him, which I just absolutely love. But there he is, and I guess I'd show you guys a little bit closer here, because this camera does actually focus pretty well. Oh, okay, I almost dropped him. <laughs> I almost broke his ear off. But yeah, there he is from behind, and then there he is from the front. And I guess I should show you these guys real quick once again, just up close, just in case you guys want to see um, what it looks like. Hopefully I can get it to focus just right. So there's Fredbear and the crying child. Once again, that should be connected, but it's not. <laughs> I, I actually, no, I was going to say maybe I just placed that piece wrong, but no, because it has to connect to him, unless it doesn't. Actually, no, yeah, no, it does connect to him. Yeah, so I got it right. All right, now they're making me question myself. <laughs> but yeah, there's Fredbear, um, and then once again, Chica one more time, and uh, we'll show Freddy one more time. So there she is. It does not want to focus on her for whatever reason. It's just not a fan of Chica. All right, it's not a fan of Chica for some reason. <laughs> Here's Freddy, though, and uh, they, oh, it focuses on him, but just not Chica. All right, well, it doesn't like her. Um, there's There he is, though. Anyways, though, after that, we have the crying child pretty freaking cool uh, i'm not sure why there's like a color difference like a tone difference in his hands it's like he's like more of like an orange color up here he's like white orange and then like a dark like orange if that makes any sense <laughs> i don't know there's a lot of like color variations i'm not sure if maybe it makes him look better from afar but there he is um one of my favorite figures though still pretty freaking cool anyways though after that we have fredbear the plush version, of course, definitely my all-time favorite out of all of these. He looks just like how he looks in the pictures, and it's it's really freaking cool looking. Uh, there he is, though. Even in-game, like, they look identical. And the final figure, which we were able to build because I bought the other six, and it is right here, the brother. And I think he was missing a piece, too, if I remember correctly. I'm not too sure, actually. Um, I thought I, I was missing something from him, but I honestly cannot remember. 
I guess not, actually, now that I look back at it. Um, but yeah, so there he is. Once again, here's the picture version of him. And then here is the actual version. A pretty nice figure. Oh, this is what made me upset about this one, though. If you buy all six of these, they all come with stands, but he doesn't. So you, you can't display him without him, like, tip. Okay, I got lucky that time. Usually he just flips over. Like, it's one of those things where if you put him in, like, a display case or whatever, these, if it knocks the display case, they're not going to fall over. This one, on the other hand, if that case knocks even a little bit, he's going down. <laughs> so that's just, like, a small little gripe I had about it. But, yeah, I wish they would include, like, one of these, like, black bases with him. I'm sure I can find one of the other ones I don't use or something and put it on him. But yeah, guys, that is all of the figures. Tell me what you guys think of them in the comment section down below. And uh, overall, I thought these were pretty cool. I'm looking forward to set three, um, possibly even like some Phantom animatronics or whatever they decide to do next. Hopefully, Sister Location animatronics. I think that'd be insane. We already know they have these Sister Location um, figures coming, and the McFarlane toy sets are like the actual like sets from the game, like Baby's Area and like all that kind of stuff, Ballora's Zone, all that kind of stuff is coming soon from McFarlane, and then Funko's building the actual Scissor Location figures, but I'm hoping that McFarlane also announces some of these, I don't think they have, I can't honestly remember, maybe they have, I've covered so many of these things, like I just lose track, but guys, tell me you guys think of these comments section down below, of course, like I said, if you're new to be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one, thank you so much for watching, peace out guys.